Hey guys, so today is a little bit different guys. Me and my mom is going for recycling and we are going to make money today from my garbage down there. Look at that guys. These are recycle uh, cans actually that my mom um, saved them like almost like every day. If my kids drink milk, he keep it, she keep it in the plastic bag. So today, I don't know how much, uh, how much bag you, you have mama? Six. <laughs> so we have six bags. <laughs> I'm going to show you how much money we're going to make today. How many months, Mama, you saved this can? Since the time we came. Since the time you came. So, guys, so look. These are 10 cents. 10 cents. These are 25 cents. And this is 10 cents, guys. So. My mom keep here in my backyard here because otherwise... People will come and steal them, you know. Here in Canada, guys, people can make money for this for the living, you know. Recycle cans, you know. So don't be surprised, guys, if in case you come to Canada and you see people, uh, they go and open people's uh, garbage cans and they're looking for a recycle. They're looking for recycle and that's how they make money and that's how they make for the living, you know. So if in case you come to Canada and you see some people like, walking around with their cart or with a big basket that's how they make money here in canada guys okay so today how many bags do we have mama six and a half six and a half so i don't know how much we're going to make today because uh, my mom and dad is going home to philippines very soon so she need to have uh, feel she had to have money <laughs> we are we're going to exchange that with peso <laughs> This is how how life here in Canada, guys. You know, it's it's not easy. <laughs> this is the recycle bin, guys. So some people they don't even bother to save those uh, recycles. They just uh, throw it in here. So some people they just save it, and uh, at the end of the month or end of the two months or three months, if they save a lot of cans then they can just uh, go to the battle depot and sell them and make money it depends on what province where you live so here in Calgary we have a uh, garbage we have a uh, green and this is waste so this is the recycle just in case you come here and you have your small children who love to drink uh, milk or if you're the type of person who like to drink uh, coca-cola juice or milk you have to save those Otherwise, if you don't want to, you can uh, give it to your neighborhood or you can give it, you can just put it in your recycle, the blue bin. That's what I told you, right? Some people, they just uh, walk, go to around. the street, go <laughs> around the street, especially in downtown Calgary. Uh, they just go and open those blue bins. Sometimes you're not supposed to open because that's for the city, right? But uh, some people, they still open those blue bin and they <laughs> took off all the recycle and they put in their plastic bag and they will sell them, you know. Some people survive for those uh, recycle. Oh, my children, I taught them how to save money for that. If we are going to the park, if you see empty drinking bottle, then they just pick it up. But um, at this time of pandemic, I told them, no, we just uh, skip for now, okay? But my mom is still like to <laughs> save those uh, recycles. So anyway, guys, I'll see you there. So Battle Depot is the place where they're buying those uh, recycle uh, bottles, okay? So in every city here in Canada, there is always a Battle Depot, like people buying those stuff, okay? So why not? My mom and dad is going home in Philippines, but we don't know because anytime the Philippine airline cancel their flight, so we hope for the best, right, Mama? Yeah. Yeah. So never mind. If they cancel, then it's okay. It's, not... <laughs> it's okay for me. It's okay for me also because oh, yeah, I have I prayed it last Thursday. And yeah. If God's will, we can go home. But there you go, guys. We need to put our mask still because uh, it's still mandatory. So you put your mask, Mama? Yeah. I Good. Let's go now. So this is how they call a happy battle depot, guys. So I'm going to get a cart inside. Yeah, I'll have to get a cart. So it's easier.
we have six so we need a cart otherwise if you only have two then you don't bother you just uh, bring it inside the store okay ready, ready. ready mama yes. all right let's go for the church huh okay guys we make money today yay <laughs> hey guys so we make 114 dollar today and uh 114 time is uh 38 dollar like, let's say in peso that is like uh four thousand four thousand three hundred thirty two yeah in peso so that money is sitting in my backyard we just put there our cans our recycle now we make money yeah so we make that for like four months yeah <laughs> i think for six months now you have peso mama huh hmm. yeah. mama did you notice that uh people who are working in that uh inside that uh battle depot are mostly are immigrants yeah because and they are they have different they, they have this the same faces so <laughs> Face. The same faces? Yeah, the same <laughs> no, face. the, si similar the same, faces. Yeah, similar faces. Not the same faces. Yeah, similar and, faces. And um, I think and this I think mostly they are, are, they are immigrants immigrant. people. Like uh, those are parts of the survival jobs here in Canada. If you are happy what you're doing, why not? You can just uh, do it for the rest of your life, right? But if you are not happy, then you go back to school. I can see the way the work mama is so fast. Yeah. They're standing up. They're standing up and uh, they know how to classify those the bottles classi different yeah. classification if i'm the one i'm going to confuse i don't know how can i make that job guys but i can see they standing up and their their mind is concentrating and focusing on what they're doing right those are part of the job here in canada guys right like a survival job so if you're very new to canada guys and looking for a job something to do to start for a living whatever job just to start you have the opportunity to run your own and open your own business why not yeah you know so you look tired mama let's go now <laughs> no actually and coins we usually give it ten dollar is for tomorrow yeah. for my offering offering in the church yeah, yeah. and then 100 is my pocket money <laughs> so i earn four thousand plus 
peso. Per peso. So it's easy to so anyway guys thank you for watching and that's how the life here in canada sometimes i talk about immigration that's sometimes i talk about life here in canada like you know the reality life so i'll see you again for my next video and god bless you and bye bye